Hey boys and girls, guys and gals, Jeff here with the Common Sense Camper. All right, so you're, you, you've got all your stuff put together, you're ready to go backpacking, but you're not quite sure what to do in the way of cook sets. So what I thought I'd do is I just grabbed my Tupperware bin that says cookware on it, and I thought I'd share with you some of the cookware I've had. Some of the stuff I've had for a long time, some of it's new, but I'm gonna share it with you. I'm also gonna give you weights for all the gram weenies out there uh, that are measuring every gram. I'm gonna give you weights on all these things. So. My first go-to cook set is this right here. And this is the Tokes 650 milliliter titanium cup. And I made a Reflectix cozy for it. And that serves two purposes. One, it allows me to keep this all together because the lid does not snap on. So the lid does not snap on here. So that kind of just keeps it all together in my pack. And when I dehydrate my food, I'll put the pouch in here, put that together and let it set. And it's kind of nice because it keeps it warm and it does dehydrate it a lot faster than just, if you have one of those mountain house meals uh, or I dehydrate all my own food, uh, just setting it out in the open. Uh, and, and this definitely speeds up that process of making the noodles nice and noodly and mushy. So. Uh, so that is my go-to set here. And then I typically pair that with the BRS stove and a fuel canister. So the weight on the cup without the lid, for all you lidless wonders, is 2.2 ounces with the lid. It is 2.8 ounces with the cozy it is 4.0 ounces with the brs stove it comes in at 4.9 ounces with the lighter which i forgot to show you that's a full-size lighter it comes in at 5.0 seven ounces my spoon of choice is just one of these titanium spoons here uh, or spork and it has the shiny end only because i don't like that titanium feel on my teeth it, it's like nails down a chalkboard and i do keep the pouch with it uh, a lot of the guys i know that are graham weenies don't like pouches but i found it's just easier this thing weighs nothing and it i found it easier to find this in my food bag because this thing just doesn't seem to want to go anywhere other than in my food bag and it like camouflages itself and you'll spend you know 10 minutes trying to find the spork in the food bag so i keep that with it so if you include the spoon or the spork that comes in at 6.3 ounces if you include the bag the little sack that comes with it doing a balancing act here 6.5 ounces and then this is, uh, I'm going to say this is about half full. If you add that, we are at 10.9 ounces. So that is a complete cook set, including fuel, and you're under a pound. So I, I think well under a pound. I think that's uh, probably a good benchmark for most people. Now, ultralight community is cringing right now because they're like, what, what do you mean under a pound, pounds kill. So, uh, but I think that's a great, that's a great setup. And you know, this I made myself, you can find these anywhere. Uh, I think these are the BRS stoves still going for like 14 bucks on Amazon. I know a lot of people have complained about this thing. I, I've had this thing over two years. I've had no issues with it. Uh, a lot of people say that when they attach this to the propane bottle, the canister, that it, it, it bleeds out. Yes, it will do that if you leave the valve open. So you have to close this valve, then attach it. When you attach it, there is a little tss, but that's pretty much any stove I've ever had. It has that little tss, and then it goes away. But if you have the valve open, it will hiss at you indefinitely until you get it tight. And then I think these things go for 29, 30 bucks, somewhere around that on Amazon. You can find these all day long for 10, 12 bucks. I've even seen them as low as nine dollars. So uh, these are these are great. Now, if you want an alternative, you know, you're like, hey, you know what? That's great, but I don't want to 
have this sack and put it in my food bag. I want something that'll fit in this. I want a nice compact system. You can go with something like that. And I've had this for a long time as well. This is actually the first, uh, I guess, real spork that I bought. And it does fit inside of that cup very easily. And it will fit with the canister and the BRS stove along with the lighter. So you can put that in there. And, you know, unless you're digging into some really deep mountain house packets of food, uh, th this works great. And, and I also say if you're carrying some type of blade, you know, if you have a Swiss Army knife or a pair of scissors, just cut the top of the bag off and now you don't have to stick your hand in it. Never really understood why that was such an issue for some people, but I digress. So that's not a bad idea. And there's a lot of plastic options out there. If you don't want to spend the money on something like this, you can go out and buy a, a plastic one. And I've used those as well, and there's nothing wrong with them. And they're just as light as anything that you see here. So let's go on to something else. Now, this is more of a, a, a bushcraft, car camping, uh, short-term backpacking type item. This is a 40 ounce metal Nalgene bottle. This is by Clean Canteen. I've had this thing for a long time. The advantages to this is you can boil water in it and you can't hurt it. You're not gonna puncture a hole in it or break it or anything like that. If you wanna pair that up with a cup, it does nest nicely inside of the 650 milliliter Tox cup. And if you don't want it rattling around, you can always take your spork, slide it beside it, slide it beside it, and now it doesn't rattle. So let's go on to the next thing I have here. Oh yeah, uh, this is old, oldie but goodie. So this was one of my first cook sets outside of my Boy Scout cook set. And this was purchased probably seven or eight years ago. And this is the uh, M MSR uh, cook pot. This is, I think the two liter, and there's nothing wrong with this, other than the fact that it's really heavy. Speaking of weights, I apologize. You probably want the weight of that. So let me go ahead and give you the weight of this Nalgene bottle. That comes in at 9.8 pounds. So you can see why that's not great if you're, if you're counting grams because this thing weighs not much less than my entire cook set for my hiking trips. Uh, but this thing here, this thing, this is this is a tank. But I tell you what, this is a great, great item. If you're just hiking in a mile or two, and you just want to camp and have a good time, this thing is awesome because you can cook eggs in this. You can use it at like a kind of like a skillet. You can use it as a pot. You can boil noodles in it. Uh, it has a nice, nice lid. Goes with it. Uh, I have actually taken a fish mouth spreader and I'll try and duplicate the, actually, you know what? I think the fish mouth spreader is in here. It is. So you can take this and if you have a fish mouth spreader, you can loop it into the lid like that. Now you have a skillet. Now you definitely want to wear gloves because this is kind of a short handle, but it does work and I have fried eggs and put spam in there and all kinds of things. Uh, I've, I've steamed uh, vegetables on it. So this is, this is great and it's not real expensive, but the weight is a killer. So if I put this on the scale, whoo, 14.9 ounces. So that is a pretty heavy cook set, but it is a tank. I don't think you can harm this. And I've used this on plenty of camping trips. So next thing is, if you're really on a budget and you're like, hey, I'm gonna make my own cook pot or billy pot. This is one that I have had and used like crazy. I love this thing. When I, when I look at this thing, it just makes me smile. This is something I made myself. This was a sugar bowl that I found at Goodwill. And I want to say it was 50 cents. And I'm like, hmm, I could probably make a billy pot out of that. And I did. So I simply took a metal bit and drilled a hole on each side. Yeah, you can see right there, a sugar bowl. 
uh, and attached a regular wire coat hanger. I know a lot of people say that these will melt. I'm telling you, I've had this thing in blazing fires. Yes, it's gotten red, but it's never melted or bent or anything like that. So uh, the coat hanger does work. And then I have the lid with it. Again, if you have a fish mouth spreader, you can put that inside of the lid. And now you have a skillet. So I'm gonna give you the weight on the fish mouth spreader because you're probably wondering what that weighs. So the weight on that is 1.2 ounces. And then the weight on my homemade belly pot with out, where we'll do with the lid, because it's it's a kit, right? 11.1 ounces. So that's that. Again, you can make that yourself very inexpensively. All right, the next thing I have is, this is the Morris Kohansky belly pot. And this thing is awesome. This is. This takes the best of this, the best of this, and just combines it into one. Uh, it's it's aluminum, and it, I just I just love this thing. You can put all you know if you were trying to make a little mini survival kit, you could actually put all the contents of that mini survival kit in this pot, and it just it works out really well. Uh, just just a cool little pot, you know, has a bail on it. It's clanky and loud and clumsy, but it takes me back to the days of the, you know, when I was younger and just going out there and having a good time and camping. Uh, so the weight of that comes in at 8.1 ounces, which I don't think is crazy. It, you know, for the size of this, this is something uh, for two. This is a cook set easily for two. So uh, this is something that's, that's very viable. Uh, you can buy it with the bale, without the bale, without the handles. There's, they have all kinds of different options. So uh, I forget the company name, but it's a it's a USA made company uh, or made product. If you type in Morris Kohansky uh, Billy Pot, their their company should come up. Uh, now a couple other things that I thought I'd share with you that I that sometimes I take out. I don't always take these things out, but. My good friend Alex bought me this. This is from Expedition Research. And there are two bushcraft grills in here. These come in really handy, especially if you're not counting, you know, weight and all that stuff. There's two grills in here. Uh, there is a smaller one there and a larger one there. So it's about, you know, half, it's a half and a full uh, set and I've had this thing blazing red and have had no warping with it or any issues uh, they are a little on the heavy side so the large one without the stuff sack is 5.6 ounces the smaller one is 3.2 ounces and I would recommend taking this just because you're gonna get soot and charred crap all over your backpack so the pouch itself weighs 0.7 ounces and if you want to take the whole kit throw caution to the wind <laughs> and fry up burgers for all your friends that comes in at and i think it's sitting on something there we go comes in at 9.2 ounces so not crazy bad uh but again ultra light camping nada the next thing I have is just a cutting board. This is a very thin uh, cutting board. It's just some type of plastic and it has a lot of uses. Obviously you can cut your food on it. I've used it as a plate. Uh, you can use it to, to waft the fire, get the fire going. And this is something that's really thin. You just kind of slide it in the pack and kind of forget you even have it. Uh, the weight on that is 2.6 ounces. And I will say if you're you know, when I go out camping and we're taking a lot, we're food heavy, you know, like we're gonna take steak and potatoes and vegetables and onions, and we're just gonna hang out the same spot for two nights. Uh, I will say this comes in very, very handy for, for prep, prepping your food. So I also have this, this is just a fork, you know, kind of like uh, for your marshmallows and uh, hot dogs and it's kind of cool and it comes with the little rubber tips. Obviously you want to take those off when you cook with it, but it's not that heavy and it, it kind of makes things fun. You can 
throw bread on it. You can, whatever you want to skewer over the fire. And it's only one ounce. So uh, for one ounce, that's, that's, a, that's a bunch of fun right there. Uh, last but not least, something I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Uh, the, uh, it was probably about four weeks ago, I got a package in the mail from, uh, it was Prime, but it was you know Amazon, just call it Amazon Prime. And I, I got to look at this thing and I'm like, huh, that could replace this cozy and it might actually make more sense. What I'm talking about are these things. I mean, I, I, get, I get probably 10 of these things a month and I thought to myself, heck, I could cut one of these down. Probably don't need it that long, maybe that much. And after I dehydrate or put the hot water in my meal, just slide it in there, fold it over, and you could do one of those clips. I forget what those clips are called. You know, I'm talking about use at the office metal, the little black thing. And there you go. Uh, and it's free. And it only weighs, this particular one here weighs, comes in at, I can't even get it to, it's like point, come on, 0.7 ounces. So I wonder if it's lighter than this. Take the lid off there. Yeah, it's actually lighter than the Cozy. So that's 1.3 ounces and this thing is 0.7 ounces uh, and again it's free you already you already paid for it and so I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna leave this at home and I have no reason to believe this would not work and the more the merrier and if you have experience with these things uh, like I said negative or positive list them below uh, or if it's something that you're like hey I've, I found something else that's a lot better and this is what I use list that below as well this is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.